All right. I started this video, it's been about 10 days ago, and um, it's on my log splitter. The pull strap quit working. It just locked up with all the string out. And I showed you it was strung out. What happened? That this piece all broke apart. The little tong things, I'll show you, they're over here fell out which is right here these pieces fell out which mount let's see they go inside here all right and when you go to pull the, the, the rope real tight this flips out this other one goes back on this side and that goes in here it goes right in there and it locks and rotates the engine now, um, I did the video, took it apart, uh, and I had to take the motor loose from the chassis to get to the bottom bolt back here. And uh, I ordered up my parts, and so I was doing a partial, you know, getting a video going um, on editing. And then I realized that uh, I did my video, and the picture was a complete freeze. Fit so. Now the video starts at me installing the new part I ordered. There's a new update to it, and let me show you what it is. All right, the new one that you get, here's my old one. It's all plastic. Can you believe it makes something out of plastic? New one you can get. Now, let, let's back up. You can still buy this crap. It's $17 for this piece. This was like $35. It has a metal plate to it, and those tongs that kick out, are right here that's them right there the other one is right there and they give you a new metal piece for it which is let's go over here which is right here so I get get exchange this out it looks the same thing almost but I gotta exchange it out for the other one so looks like I need a big uh, socket to take that off and then I'll take it apart. All right, I got that, this little round piece off. They give you a new one. I almost didn't see a difference, but there is. If you can see right here, on each one of those is a little bit of a lip. All right, that's where those metal tabs hook it right there. If you look here, there is no lip at all none nowhere i've got that wiped out really good so you can see it's completely smooth but then again you can see there's a lip right here see it right there and there is none on that one so we're going to reinstall this i didn't bring a tripod figures i'm going to slip that on it doesn't have to be clocked because all it's pulling it doesn't make a difference where you put it. Um, you're just pulling starting your motor. But um, let's see here, okay, it's hand tight. The size socket I am using is a 15 16 socket that's on the crankshaft. And because I don't have the tripod with me, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up right now and then go from there. All right. Okay, we got that piece mounted in here. It's tightened up really good. So now we're gonna put this in here and uh, we'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and get these screws all started. They give you new screws with it, not the usual ones. And these screws actually have a rib on the back side so they don't loosen up. The other ones don't have that. So use your new screws they give you, is a must. And when you order this, they give you a, uh, you're supposed to order with your model number, which I did. But also they give you measurements between screws, so you make sure you get the right size. I'm going to snug them up just a little bit, not much, because you want it to move around so you can put all your screws in. All right, I took that back screw off this motor, so the motor tilts back even further now. Uh, 
All right, we're there now. I'm just gonna snug everything up real quick. Make sure they're all snug tightly everywhere. Okay, let me do this real quick. Okay, we're hooking. That's good. So let me go ahead and snug this up. All right, let's put the 5 sixteenths on there. We're all tight. I'm just going to do a couple quick little pulls. And we are moving again. I don't want to start. I need to mount the motor back to the frame. There's four bolts that come from underneath. And we're going to get that done here now. All right, we got to mount two bolts here and two bolts on the other side of the motor. And they go through underneath here. There's one, two, there's three. And there's going to be another bolt back here, four. So let me get them dropped in, and we'll go from there. All right, we got a couple of bolts through. We got that one there. We got that one's on there. We've got that one there. All right, I'm going to get these right here on this side. Get these all tightened up, and I'll get the hit ones on the other side. tight now we gotta get these two over here on the other side we got it back together again so let's see if it runs let's turn the gas on gas is on switch is on there run choke it let's see what we got I think I'm out of gas. That's why I had a hard time starting it. Yeah, it'd probably help if I put a little fuel in there, huh? We shouldn't be running good now. We got fuel in it. look different all right we're gonna go y'all have a good day bye